Hello everyone, welcome back to this YouTube channel. For today's video we are going to tackle about the homeroom guidance of grade 2. For quarter 4, module 13. Entitled, I can do it. Introductory message. For the learner, this module was designed to help develop your ability to value yourself, your capacity to solve your problems with others and what you can contribute to the community. This module or consists of six interactive activities for you to follow, namely, let's try this, which will help you get ready to learn. Let's explore this, which will guide you towards what you need to learn. Keep in mind, which will give you the lessons that you need to learn and understand. You can do it, which will help you apply the lessons learned in daily activities. What I have learned, which will test and evaluate your learning. And share your thoughts and feelings, which will help you express your thoughts, opinions and feelings. Make sure to read, think, follow, and enjoy every task that you were asked to do. Have fun, stay safe and healthy. Learning objectives. After going through this module, you are expected to 1. Identify your problems encountered with people and within the community. 2. Determine abilities on how to solve problems encountered with people and within the community. And 3. Relate the importance of knowing one's ability to work hand in hand with others and the community. For the introduction of this module, the ability to solve problems does not depend on age. Even at a young age, you can always contribute good solutions to problems encountered, might it be at home or in the community. It is important that you are guided by adults so you can think of ways as you help your community. It is also important to listen to others and value their ideas to come up with best results. For your first activity, which is the let's try this, you are going to look at the boxes below, for every letter there is a corresponding number. Copy this activity in a clean of paper and write the word that corresponds to the combination of numbers. Then, answer the processing questions. Example, 25, 15, 21 equals you. Number 1, 23, 15, 18, 11 equals to blank. 2, 1, 2, 9, 12, 9, 20, 25 equals to blank. 3, 3, 15, 13, 13, 21. 14, 9, 20, 25 equals to blank. 4, 16, 5, 15, 16, 12, 5 equals to blank. 5, 16, 18, 15, 2, 12, 5, 13 equals to blank. After you've finished doing the activity, you may now answer this two processing questions. Number 1, how did you solve the activity? And 2, what ideas can you think of from the completed words? Then, for your let's explore this activity, using a clean sheet of paper or colored paper, cut it into shapes of a star, make three big stars. Follow the instructions below, then, answer the processing questions on a separate clean sheet of paper. After you've finished doing the let's explore this activity, you may now answer this two processing questions. Number 1. Was it easy for you to recall the problems encountered with others and in the community? Why? And 2. What did you learn from solving these problems? Now you must keep this in mind. You are going to read and think. Try to apply the lessons learned in your daily life. At your age, your most significant others are your family, people in school, and in the community. You may experience situations that you do not know what to do. It is important to be reminded that you can solve problems with the help of your significant others. Being able to learn to solve these problems will help you become a better person and be one of the people helping the community. You must learn to speak. S. Speak up to your family and friends about the situations that you cannot handle alone. P. Please listen to their good advices. E. Encourage yourself that you can do all things with the help of your significant others. A. Always ask for help. K. Know that you have them to lean on. For the You Can Do It activity. You are going to look into the pool of words of abilities, pick five words that you believe are needed to solve problems encountered with others and in the community. Write it down in a clean sheet of paper and answer the processing questions. After you've finished doing the activity, you may now answer this two processing questions. Number 1. Was it easy for you to choose the abilities you need to solve problems you may encounter with others and in the community? Why? And 2. Why is it important to have these abilities? Now to test what you have learned in this module, you are now going to do the what I have learned activity. Create your own three steps in solving problems encountered with others and in the community, just like what you read in, keep in mind. Make the best design by copying or creating your own diagram. 
An example was done for you to follow. Example. And lastly, you are now going to share your thoughts and feelings. Share what you think and feel about the quote below. Describe it in a clean sheet of paper. A problem is a chance for you to do your best. Duke Ellington.